should go. Just get a few shots here. Yeah, we'll just do 180. You know, one video instead of two. Come on. Type of deal. Come on. Right? I'm back. I'm back. Oh man, 21 miles, 33 kilometers, about 640 per mile, or four minutes and 10 seconds per kilometer. So solid, solid workout. Um, basically, I'm not. Sh I I'm acting a fool. I'm carrying the GoPro for 21 miles, and I didn't pull it out once today. I do apologize. Basically, when I get in the zone and get in a good rhythm. Nothing's gonna stop me like I just go and I just go and you you know when you find that nice Smooth gait cycle and everything is just flowing real nice and by the way I was in the adios uh, Fours today the adidas Audi zero adios fours and I just was flowing just flowing so I didn't film it all today I do apologize about that and I don't want to be a hypocrite. All right I, I do not want to be a hypocrite. So I'm gonna take you along with me to a store I'm gonna purchase something. Oh, we talk about this item all the time on the vlog. There's no reason that I should not own this thing. Um, oh, I'll tell you the story as to why I do not here in a minute. So let's do this. Oh, what a day. What a day. Oh, man. Here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's incredible. We are a quarter of the way through 2019. How insane is that? It's April, well now it's April 2nd, and I marked in my calendar back like a couple months ago, I wanted, I wanted, and I'm going to right now, check in with all of you on any injuries that you might be suffering from right now a quarter of the way through this year now listen for me i think of the annual calendar year in quarters why because of the one mile race i know it's crazy it's like that crossover between track and life so question of the day here we go are you suffering from any injuries if so what is your injury and what are you doing to help get over that injury uh, what are you doing for prevention for are you going to see doctors or are you dealing with it at your house with uh, devices like this so that is the question of the day thank you for hitting it up down below let's get that ball rolling and hopefully the goal is that you will be able to uh, help others who are suffering from similar injuries for example if you are suffering from plantar fasciitis I'm your guy. I can help you with plantar fasciitis. A, a pulled hamstring, that's a little outside my wheelhouse, but PF, that is where I live. All right, that is the question of the day. We're heading home to uh, get our roll on, get our roll on. Whoop. And a good ride today in the Audios 4s. By the way, the legs are feeling solid after that little rollout session in there. We'll talk more about everything sitting here in a minute. Uh, a good ride today in the Audios 4s. I think I'm going to be able to get you the full review tomorrow. I'm going to I'm gonna commit to that right now. Uh, full review of the Adidas 
Audi Zero Audios 4. I don't know if it'll be the first video that publishes or the second. We'll just see how the day plays out. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna set that there. Okay, moving on to remember last week we talked about this. We're almost to the quarter mark, right, of 2019. So January, February, March. It's you know it's like we're 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 a, we're a lap into 2019. So I think it's a good moment to yes, be honest with ourselves and really evaluate the training that we have done thus far. That's right, being honest with our training, honest with the task at hand, honest with the peak races that we have on our racing calendar and oh my goodness, I've been known, trust me, I've been known to, hold on, I've been known to uh, sign up for too many races in a calendar year. I'm guilty of that. So I feel like right now I'm at a pretty good place with respect to balancing the training that needs to happen for the amount of racing that I hope to do. But in addition to honesty with our training, we've got to be honest with what? With our injuries. Oh, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I've never really played like basketball and been injured as a basketball player. I've, I've never played any other sport. I've played other sports, but I've never been injured as an athlete in, an, in another sport. So as a, as a runner though, I can really relate to anybody out there who is just struggling with injuries. And I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit, I've, uh, I've been known to push through injuries at times. Not saying it was the wisest decision ever, and I wouldn't advise it if you don't know what you're doing. But over time, and maybe for the the uh, the veteran runners out there, if you've been running for let's say more than 10 to 15 years, let's like a, a good chunk of time, you do learn. Like, tell me if I'm wrong, but down in the comments, let me know. Do you do you, have you figured out if you've been running for more than 15 years? Have you figured out like okay, I know what this pain is. I can deal with this at my house. Or oh. That's a new pain. I need to go to the doctor immediately. I don't know about you, but I actually feel pretty confident now after running for 20 years that I can kind of self-diagnose like, okay, this is an ache. This is a serious pain. So I even had a pain last week. Um, it was just a, a, little, a little ache um, kind of down in my uh, shin splint area. And I was like, okay, I know what this feels like. I've had this little pain before. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna monitor it. And sure enough, it didn't develop into anything, but that was like, that was something I had to be aware of uh, just last week. And yes, the key word for this video is roller. Why roller? Because today I finally picked up a foam roller. I don't want to be a, a hypocrite. I know that's a very strong word, but I don't want to be telling you guys, listen, I use the foam roller at the gym. I actually gave my foam roller away after college because I was so distraught at getting nine stress fractures in college. Like I was just like, I was done. I just needed a mental break from running. I, I really did. And so I gave away my foam roller. I gave away my, my massage stick. That's what this is right here. And I said, all right, I'm just, I'm just, I'm done with it. So today's keyword is roller. Cause I was like, no, if I'm going to be telling all of you that you need to be using a foam roller when you have aches and pains, um, I had better be at least using one, I would say at least once a day. So going to the gym, I can't go to the gym every day and foam roll. So that's why I picked this guy up today. This is the trigger point and it is available down below, but this is the trigger point uh, foam roller. This is a very, very intense foam roller. I like this kind, I've used it in the past. I would not recommend it if you are not used to foam rolling because this will really, really dig in to those aches and pains. Like it's almost like a deep tissue massage. You can see the ridges there. Uh, I love it. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. And so again, for all the young runners or new runners, just give it time. You will continue to figure out what is a pain that you need to call the doctor immediately or go to a masseuse or go to a physical therapist or whatever the case may be, or you're gonna figure out the, the aches and pains where it's like, okay, I can deal with this at home with a, with a stick, with a foot log. Oh, this is my best friend. This is a foot massager. This is, I picked this up last year when I had the plantar fasciitis. I felt, I feel like it really, really helped. And then today, no more. It's time to get on the foam roller every single day. And um, I am trying out this blue emu. I have no clue. It's supposed to help with joints and aches and pains in your joints especially. So we will see. Anyway, I'm just trying to get the conversation going. And again, that question of the day, do you have any injuries right now? Um, if you don't, 
When was the last time you had an injury and how did you overcome it? Oh, we're at the quarter mark. That's right, the quarter pole mark of 2019. I think it's just a great time to check in on uh, everybody's health out there because I know everybody's pounding ground and I'm, I'm watching you. I'm watching you on Demore Global Running. Like your miles are impressive and your vertical gain is impressive. And what's really exciting is to begin to watch all of these track workouts begin to pop up on um, begin to pop up on Demore Global Running. And I will say for me, I think what we kind of honed in on when I was at CU and I had nine stress fractures is for me, the combination of high volume and high intensity workouts kind of, we think that that might have led to a lot of my injuries. So anyway, we got to look out for each other, right? Keep each other accountable to the, to the task at hand, but also help each other stay healthy. And if you have any tips or ideas on how to overcome some injuries, like for me, I will jump into the comments below uh, about plantar fasciitis. If you're suffering, I will do my best to comment and give you some ideas or thoughts on how to overcome that injury. All right, YouTube family. I hope uh, I hope that brought you some uh, some good information today, and we're just gonna keep rolling out together. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Oh, good times in the studio. See you tomorrow.